everybody, Reaper here, and we got Hoover driving. Good morning, Hoover. Good morning, how are you doing? Alrighty, and we are headed to Dennis Feldman in Warren, Michigan. We're gonna be picking up some pumps and some other equipment uh, that we've been trying to get from them for quite a while, actually. Then we're gonna hit up to Fullman and stop in at Michigan Tropical and talk to Mike, and I believe we're bringing home some fish as well. So you guys stay tuned and uh, we'll see how the trip goes. Alright, Hoover and I are on I-75 headed north and there we are. We're entering Michigan now and we got roughly just a hair over, well actually uh, hair over an hour. We should get there at about 11.20, 20, 11.25. All right, people, we'll see you there. 11.24, Hoover's backing up into the driveway. We see like an outdoor pond and so forth. And so we're finally here. All right, and we're here. I'm sure Dennis will be out in a minute. Seems to be an evergreen sitting there as well. Hmm. Uh, well, that's a lot bigger than what we <laughs> thought we're gonna have to take these containers out we'll stick this baby in and fit everything around it as best we can mm -hmm. All right. and I believe our host is here I'm Steve <laughs> how's it going Dennis how are you? <laughs> I owe you so, that much. Uh, I know you do. <laughs> Don't tell me that's Steve. <laughs> yeah, I posted, I said, I've been called a lot of names before, but never Steve. Yeah, that's what he told me. <laughs> um, yeah, I talked with Rich a while ago and text message back and forth. This is the old koi pond I have. I had fish and then lived in this for 25 years. Whoa. And then I had Putch from Putch Ponds. Dan and his crew built me a new koi pond. Mm. But... Um, I know you've had trouble with straps and stuff and keeping them, but I had a 96 Dodge pickup truck, and this is what I kept all my stuff in. You're, you're oh, welcome okay. to these, you know, bungee cords and straps, and right. these are the uh, pumps. There's all kinds of, you know, I mean, that one's a 1,200-gallon pump. There's some 500s. There's all kinds of equipment for... Um, you know, to make the water, uh, the, right, the bells the, the, and everything else right, like every that. Them all flowing. Yeah, and flow bio bells. boxes and, you know what I mean, extra sponges. There's, both of these are extra uh, sponges, oh, you know what I mean, okay. filter pads. Right, filter pads. So, all right. um, I had other stuff, but I kept um, just giving it away. <laughs> Dan Putz and his guys, came, everything was piled up here for since before you went to Flint the first time. Oh, man. And it was like, you know, the wife's like, I'm tripping over it. It's like, you know, so Dan Putz, I, one of his guys took a 50 foot or 75 foot python wow. for a water changing system. Really? So I was like, hey, you can use it. I'm, I'm tired of tripping over it. You know? <laughs> but everything that is uh, here, it, mm. when we're done, if you want to see the pond, absolutely. You can, Go back over that way. I got a couple little aquariums in there, but they don't need to be, you know what I mean? We, just, we show everything. Yeah, you know. Even my little guppies. Yeah, well, I got some <laughs> neat fish. They're, they're kind of neat, but, you know, I mean, I've had them since I was five years old. I've had aquariums. Wow. My dad worked at the Belle Isle Aquarium. Oh, okay. Trip. So I don't know if you've ever heard of Belle Isle or not, but it's bigger than Central Park in New York. Wow. Yeah. It's got the aquarium, which is a hundred and... It was 100 years old and they closed it. So for 10 years it was closed and it reopened. And um, he worked there and when I was a little kid, I mean, there was no Indiana Jones or nothing, but there's a catwalk. And I used to lay out of that and think, oh, they're gonna jump up and kill me, you know, to eat me. <laughs> but the alligator gar in there, the log that used to be in there was six feet long. The alligator gar was longer than the, than the log. two. And it had a big red-tailed <laughs> catfish that lived inside and it was just, the coolest little way to grow up until he passed in 1971 wow. and then you know they had to visit it just like everybody else you know right they got a flower a conservatory down there the great lakes dostant museum where they've got an anchor from the edmund fitzgerald mm. um the flight deck or bow deck whatever it's called from the uh william clay ford they went okay. out to rescue the uh, edmund fitzgerald 
So that's up there, the bridge house, I think it's called. I mean, uh, a wooden hydroplane from the Garwood. I don't know if you know what hydroplane races are. They have them down right. in Belle Island. They go all over the country, the world and stuff. But right. They got a wooden one in there. Hmm. It's encased, encased in glass. You, you, they can walk in. People can't walk in. But Right. Yeah. Anyway, let's get you loaded up. All right. Yeah, I've let's had, get this uh, loaded. This I was going to put around my pound. That's for him. And behind it in a bag is a uh, forget-me-not. It's a pond forget me oh, not. So just okay. stick it in the stream, or you can plant it in the dirt or the gravel. It's easier to maintain it if it's in the in the in the, in the pot. Right. You know? Right. They can spread. I'll show you something in my pond that Dan put in it. Spread okay. twenty five feet. It's outside the pond and everything. Wow. Well, okay. However you want to get the water. Yeah, right. yeah. It'll it'll need to be watered. And that's temporary. We're not sure exactly how we're going to do this because we don't know what fish we're picking up from uh, Michigan Tropical. So once we get there, if it's only going to be one little, uh, you know, uh, tub, we're going to be all right. We can keep it underneath. If not, we'll go ahead, Hoover and I will take it out. We'll put it on top, strap it down. But we'll see when we get there. And Dennis, you're going to show us your pond? Yeah, um, we can cut through this way. Eh? All righty. I mean. Mm, ooh, some angel fish. Yeah, I mean, I've had angels my entire life. Oh, beautiful. I can't keep these guys from killing anybody else. Really? You know what I mean? I got this really cool little sword tail here. The long yeah, thing. I see them. I can only find one like that. Uh-oh, the boss is here. Hi, cheese guys. it. Hello, Hi. how you doing? Good, how are you? <laughs> All right, Not bad. Cool. Awesome. You want to mm. grab that off the stove? Sure. We throw that here. Are you sure? Yep. Right now? Yep. All right. I got some different plecos in there, some uh, um, butterfly plecos. Uh, you know, there's some in the, in the other one too. With they're usually eating the zucchini in the other aquarium. That's what my wife loves to feed them: zucchini yeah. and cucumbers. Um, we use the lettuce, romaine lettuce. Really? And I got a 90 gallon that's empty in the basement, but I had for years fancy goldfish in it. I would take an entire head of romaine lettuce, scoop up <laughs> the gravel, put it in it. Three days later, there's just the core. You know, oh, oh. and of course, who gets the bad news? Reaper does. He gets to smell it all the way home. What's that? Oh, <laughs> jeez, he's old. Thank you very oh, much. It's heavy. Yeah, yeah. hold that. You table. know what that is? <laughs> you know what that is? No, no. Oh, White Castle. Yep, right, they're sliders, yeah. man. It's a whole box of oh, sliders. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Case, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> all right. All right. Oh. <laughs> you guys watch my videos then. <laughs> but yeah, this, Dan Putz did this for me four years ago. And then a month after it was done, Greg Whitstock came out and did his video. Oh, and, really? Yeah. So it's just like a month old. I mean, obviously everything has died back for the season. Right. I've got right. a uh, big blue that you can see back down there. That's gray cloud. She, she'll be 29 years old. Really? So, yeah, kind of careful going around. But... Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, kind of hard to see with the bubbles and everything going. That's nice. That's oh, nice. no, you can see them. Yeah, you know, there's some big ones in there. Not super big, but and then the babies, they all hide in the cave. The cave right, I, I can see back. one way yeah. back over there. Yep. So, <laughs> but those are the big four. Awesome. Yeah, these are, you know, the flocks, they grow over the rocks. You just cut them all like right. you call them, use a pair of scissors and give them a haircut. But this. It's a blue one. You can still see flowers on it. Right. Bit right now at the very end. But I stepped on that one, but it'll come back. But it's just, you know, things I've picked up and done over the years with other gardens and everything else like that. And it hides right. the rock, softens them, I guess you want to call it. And so. Hey, well, thank you for yeah, everything. No <laughs> I know you got a heck of a drive yet up back up the Flint. Yeah. How, lo how long does it take to get to Flint? Be safe. I'll see the video sometime. And oh, you will. And thank you very much. We appreciate Not it. Not bad.
I, your name again? My name is Hoover. Uh, this is Hoover. Hoover. Okay. Yep. Right. We have a street Hoover you're going to go by. So okay. <laughs> maybe I'll stay this night. All right. So, thanks, guys. Well, thanks, Hope Dennis. You, you have a you have a good day. You have a Merry Christmas. Uh, and thank you very much for the White Castles. Yeah, well, that goes. You know what I mean? <laughs> I wasn't going to get them when you called me Steve. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I understand. All right. I, I know what it's like. All right. Well, you I have a good one, man. All right. All right. Hoover just input at the second address, which is going to be Michigan Tropical, Mike's Place. That was nice of them to get us some sliders. That was awful nice of them. <laughs> so we're going to take off, and it's like a 50-minute ride to there. So we'll see you guys when we get there. Well, yeah, Hoover and I were wondering where we were going to stop for lunch, but I guess they made up our mind for us, so we're going to eat some of these sliders while they're still warm. Hey everybody, Reaver here. Hope you enjoyed the first part of the video. Second part coming up. I'm sorry I didn't have time to go out and film the lights and do the things I was hoping to do. Um... You know, who knows, maybe there'll be a second video later on, never know. But this is Dawn's tank, she obviously changed it around. But a couple of days before she did, you can see all those loaches, her coolie loaches, doing their thing. Two of them came out and started doing that, and that's when she changed her tank. Then it was three, then it was four, now we got like seven of them out here. So, we're not sure what's going on. Anybody out there, if you've ever seen that happening, you know, let us know. But we had a great trip, Hoover and I. And um, I, for those who didn't catch it or know, um, in the monologue uh, of the last video, I called Dennis Steve. I, I told him, I says, I don't remember doing that, but I watched it, and I did. But... Um, I still got my White Castles, and they were awesome. <laughs> There's only uh, eight left, actually, because I did bring them home. Uh, and before I did, you know, Big Rich, he grabbed four or so himself. You know, share, it, it goes around. But it was a great adventure, you know, and the second half was awesome. Um, I'll show that, you know, we got to view the store, and brought home five beautiful fish. And you guys will see that in the second half. Um, some, I, I, you guys have to leave in the comments whether you like these little 12-minute clips and two-parters or whether you'd have it all in one and have 20 minutes or 25 minutes. Uh, sometimes it seems like people don't want to watch 25 minutes or so. But you guys let me know. <clears throat> you guys let me know, you know, and we'll, we'll, we'll take it from there. But this is Dawn's newscape and, you know, her new thing. It's been like this for a few days now. She loves her guppies, you know, a lot more life since we've gotten rid of the uh, uh, silver dollars. Everybody's coming out and doing their thing. So, uh, you guys stay fishy, my friends. Hit that like, share, subscribe, and we'll go deeper with the Reaper.